Hello, everybody. This is Strategic Primus, and we're back. More Heathen Horde. As King Guthrie the Pusher here is getting ready to wreck everyone. Being said, I've just noticed Halfdan is now the Thane of Warwick. I believe I've noted this in the previous episode, but it is a bit of a problem. He's 15, this means I won't be able to set up his marriage. And the AI is probably going to do something stupid. But it does mean that we will pick up Warwick, which is nice. I like that. Picking up another couple of territories while we're still threatening and not really able to start cranking on these guys. So, it's a kind of a good thing. That being said, I'm going to have a bit less control on what he does, which is a bit of a problem. Wolfar here. I need to go find a good marriage for clients because I don't have control on the other one. Problem is, I'm also Norse, so having an alliance is a bit of a problem. Snake in the eye, he's under me. Yeah, he is. This is that option. Much prefer. He's my cousin, so that would be a little too close. Let's try England. Yes, he'll take it. Good. That just brings us in a better ally. Probably get off of whatever Warwick to serve terms to get it. Now that I'm sort of stuck here in a period of forced peace, I need to uh, focus on the realm itself. I don't have a regent that I'm going to trust at the moment to not really need one, because I don't think I will. Uh, creating the Dungeon of Northumbria is probably a good idea right now, because give me any problems, because I'm a king now. Somebody I don't care about. Said, we're going to see if he gets a decent education. Okay. Keep moving on time. So yeah, I'm at a period of forced peace. Uh, that's just how CK2 works these days. I'm threatening. I need to sit around and wait. Good news is, sitting and waiting like this, I get to pretty much see the rest of the world splinter apart and see if I can take advantage of anything. What I've also noticed is the Alslos here, as in Alslos the Rain, has broken off from the rest of the Carlingian Empire, which is kind of amusing. I might be able to raid them. They are on a river. I'm going to attempt that just because it sounds interesting. Also because they are considerably weaker. Here goes nothing, right? Perfect. This going. Let's get all the boats here. There we go. Take that with 9,000. Enough. So they have practically no men. These are fine. Put them on the boat. Let's get over to reading up loss. Oh, what? Too far, River? Yeah, too far. I'm going to go over major rivers, right? Small ones are. Just too small. Yep. Means I'm going to probably go back to raiding Brittany. But let's just see if there's better targets somewhere. Pulling up the economy tab, I'm just going to take a quick look around. And my options are kind of the S series. Alright, yes, I barely have enough to do that. Or Brittany, or fundamentally crippled. Singular Arcanair appears to have taken over Hasting his line. Doing a bang up job. So I'm gonna just raid them, get some money. So you can never use. You can always use more, but never use more. 
Always needs money. Quick series of raids through here. Get us a pile of cash. I'm not assaulting this because I don't really want to use manpower. And uh, sac offering sacrifice to Odin because additions to piety plus just butchering the countryside sounds like fun. We've managed to kill Duke. Kind of amusing to me. Also, stolen a noble scepter. It's mine now. Interesting. The leaders get better. Haha. -ha. And my marriage proposal. No. I mostly took this marriage as a attempt to get a few sons. Uh, I am pretty old. I only have two sons. Dynasty is kind of small at the moment. Only have six living members. That's kind of a problem. I'm going to attempt to alleviate that. better. It's good to know. Yeah, we're just going to crunch through this part. Chaplain's actually pretty important on this run. Right, so I'm trying to Chalcedonians. He's not on the council and he's a far better one to have, so I'm going to put him on the council. Lord here to be one hell of a fighter. So she's pretty good. Just straight up. Shield maiden. Just because she appears to need to be one. Cost me a bit of coin to do that, but I'll get that back in no time. The reason why I'm doing that is uh, shield maidens gain prestige faster and just tend uh, to give everyone a higher opinion of them and me of, uh, and thereby um, Glowed here will be a better marriage for somebody like that one. My sons, maybe, maybe somebody else, don't know who. Also makes her like me more. If you have generals that like you more, they're more willing to give you prisoners. Emperor, eh. I'd honestly rather have more Rail. Again, sons in this just tend to be a bit of a problem. And we've killed another bishop. Good, good. It's just how this one goes. I know there's 600 men here and I don't really lose men, but this is a city. They tend to offer little to no resistance to just taking them. There we go. We should have 100 gold lying around. Let's just hit the next province while we're at it. Imprisoned by that Sultan. Mr. Frankie. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. I want no parts of that. As you all know, in real life, uh, Stafford, yeah, totally. Uh, as you all know, in real life, uh, this gentleman uh, goes on to found the house of Normandy, who actually become kings. I don't really see that happening in this one, but who knows? She's he's about to get resubjugated, Carling. Which happened. Let's just get back in here. And what I can use Warwick for is as the AI is already doing for me, is he's gonna start subjugating and subverting these little uh, duchies and things in here too. And he's doing it on me, so I can do it wow well, technically. Uh not calling up the defensive packs against me, which is good. And also, they're tiny. I can fight these guys off with less than a thousand men easily. And gives the butcher a couple more opportunities to uh, slay people. Just gonna keep crunching on through. I 
as my children just get better and better. So, actually, that's not the worst marriage I've ever seen for the AI. That's that's pretty good. Good job, half ten. He proved to be as great as well the original. She likes me and she's very good at her job. I'll take her. Come to think of it, I've actually ruled for a very long time as this guy. Hopefully, I feel good years out of him just yet. I'm going to go for trying to take him prisoner at once. Gain a plus two axe. I feel stronger. Excellent. So that's a plus two to Marshall. This is my longsword, which is a plus two to Marshall, and plus one to personal combat skill. So it's not really all that great for me. But what I can do is I can gift it over to my son, who has no such thing. The artifact. I can just give him a plus two axe. He's going to like us more now. And he's going to be slightly better at Marshall. Now, his Marshall isn't all that great, but it's mostly because he has the tough soldier. As you guys all know, it's to be upped through continuing to fight the people. Become a better strategist with battle. Again, I'm farming this to try and get just. And there we go. Oh, I had looter on. That would probably be it. So I just burned all those buildings. So it's money. Which is fine, I guess. And it weakens them considerably. So that's now my son can just pick them all. Because anyone was wondering what doing that. Also means he's going to be slightly weaker after picking it up. That's the thing that I would like to do. I really don't want him picking off too many of these uh, small little counties to then uh, cover the entirety of everything because what it will do is try and throw my uh, Gravelkin secession to the land. All right. And some of the noise. I'm release you. Actually, no, you're the last one. Plotting you. Good to hold a blot. It's always good to hold a blot. Norse too, but I care about you. And as usual, my son's proved to be shitty. It's alright, this one just exists to get the marriage pact. Of course, he dies. And it, I get that. Why wouldn't he? It's not. Should. I'm not gonna take the unaggressive pack. That's a problem. Ah, uh, because it's part of the defensive pact against me. Of course he is. Everyone is. And this dude get just got shish -kebabbed. And my shitty son appears to not be shitty. Though he is. Eh. And I've gained Brave. To just continuously get even. I'm now going to retire from and about. Put Glowed in control of that. And back to money. So yes, war work in this will be under us. Which is good. Getting us a lot land out there without much issue. To be troll between some Massey and advisor to my daughter. 
Uh, no. She likes an education folk. I'm gonna make it uh, diplomatic. She already has a seven in it, and she's one in one, which isn't too bad. Uh, so that will produce a better result. Here we go. And now everyone's just going to try to make so that's what happens when you have a decent daughter turn 12. <laughs> I could double uh, marry into Afmunsul. Probably not a bad idea. Shpidin, by the way. Oh, no. Shpidin, so this would be the, um, take the eye. Oh, he's dead? Oh. Let's go right ahead. Yes, I believe they are technically something of cousins. Oh, that's Nick and the Eye. It's um, Ironside. That's it. It's one of the sons of Lubick. We're technically distant cousins, but details. As I lose Roth. Of course, I didn't uh, chuck some. Oh boy, here we go. Berserking time. I wounded him. Great. Blot time. Real fun begins. Now for the human sacrifice. There burns him. Under the kid. Ah, you can't blot kids, right? I keep forgetting. So yeah, we're just going to keep trying to feed more provinces off to this warg, and hopefully just sort of slowly crunch through this middle England. The problem is we still have this defensive pack to deal with, and it is quite large. Namely, I'd have to fight pretty much every Christian and or pagan in Britain if I were to go to war at the moment. Which, while I might be able to pull off, I wouldn't be able to hold on to that kind of a war. They elected my shit son. Oh, why are you doing that? How are you doing? Give them a minute, I will make this just pure gravelkind, as opposed to elective gravelkind. Which said I won't have to deal with that. We can get Prince Half down. I know this means I can no longer choose the best of my sons. Now it, it will go to the eldest, who I can try to make the best. So I have a granddaughter. My wife is pregnant. Excellent. Okay, cool. Just seeing what sort of Things my children will inherit from this wife, because this far down the line of succession, it's that we claim that they will most probably be getting, because I will take it for them. I apparently have improved my relations with the Carling. I don't mind that. Namely, because the Carlingian Empire is large and terrifying. Ronnie or Brave? I'd rather have. There we go. Now I'm just going to uh, marry her off to somebody important. Less important. Cumberland is up to us. This is where you just double check a few things. Yeah, come on, castle. Where I could. Sons. Cousin or two. Nephews, sorry. Don't want to brush out nephews. Right. So, yes, I need to marry off to my vassal. This is just to. Uh, this is just to ensure that your vassals have decent traits and that sort of. and that they will actually. Uh, continue to propagate. As you've, as you've noticed, there's occasions where your vassals and this just sort of die out on you without any years. It's kind of a problem. Dude, 
I'm gonna go for pride just because. And yeah, we're just trying to speed through this as much as possible because uh, we really can't do anything substantial right now. Unsuccessful in saving my ill daughter. However, he's in Brutus, learning slightly. Come on, son. Gage is more bored. Do it. Offer of vassalization. Do it because it doesn't grow. Oh, here we go. Uh. Do I want to be seduced by a hunchback with one eye? Uh, no. No. Certainly not with poetry. <laughs> the reason why I'm doing that is uh, if that was to result in a bastard, the bastard would be probably a hunchback. Uh, of course, she is fussy and affectionate, so it crosses. It, it cross cancels. I'm going to go for stewardship instead, uh, because having nothing is. About the same as having a positive one negative. About roughly. Where'd my castle? Get everybody like me a bit more. Let's get some more commanders back in here. Here. He wants to join the Virginian Guard. Indian guard, sorry, I can't talk. Uh, go right ahead, since he's a little sick. <laughs> Hopefully, somebody will get rid of him for us. So, yeah, that's probably going to be it for this episode as we've continued to click around uh, without really being able to go to war. Uh, we raided Brittany a little, we got some border gore going with our son here, who's in Warwick, and we've generally just kept time progressing as so we're waiting. Uh, either this, uh, the good king to die, or these defensive packs to go away, because the defensive packs are based on king, such that if Ufrid here is to die in glorious battle somehow, uh, we will be able to continue to wreak havoc in Britain. Being said, it's going to be a little bit of a slow process here. Just, it takes time for defensive packs to go away, because you have to wait for threat to decay, and it decays at 0.08%, and we're at 18. And to get under that, under that 15% margin, it will take a little while. That being said, we got down to 18. It's probably at 20 something really. Actually, this England in Upland, not a bad idea. Not just because he's strong and Tribal things who are strong have a tendency to turn out to uh, do pretty good here. Other options? I don't know yet. I'm going to do that next episode. I was just he's 12. I could wait on it. So yeah, that has been this part. We've slowly begun some border war in here. It's really all we can do right now. Oh boy. So Alfred's doing his own bit of Right, Alfred's still alive. Try and fix that, but two at this point. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm just keeping this one going for a little bit. Train master, and we've had a great hunt with our son. Clearly, here's the place we should stop, because uh, it's been enough time, and we have decayed slightly. It's a terrible, terrible thing, which is not being able to go after anyone, which is being called being threatening. As you can see, we've gone down to 18.8% in the past. So yes, this is going to be a bit of a slow process, as we are artificially being slowed down by the threatening dynamic. Um, it's the thing they added in CK2. I have a love-hate relationship with it. Um, 
yeah, it slows down the AI from making more jobs that just span across the entire map, uh, but it also slows you down from just picking up a couple of duchies and stitching them together, because that's what we got this off of. Being said, I will see you all in the next episode. Please like and subscribe if you have appreciated this content. I will be pushing this stuff out on a basis. Uh, look down below in the description for the link to the parlor where I will explain what all is being done. Thank you.